do you mean by messing up Bala? <laughs> <laughs> so you have a very neatly planned garden. But uh, if you plant the mustard seed, it will just grow wild and take over your garden. So each of us, are, we have our planned life. We planned our, we planned our life very carefully. Uh, after I graduate, I'll get a good job. After I get a good job, I'll marry a very godly woman and have a beautiful, three beautiful children. <laughs> <laughs> so and so. You have that. <laughs> God's purpose, that's all you'll have. That's all you'll have, that you are neatly planned God. No more. But if you want to be used by God, you have to let the kingdom grow and take over your life. Mm -hmm. Then many people come and find rest mm -hmm. in your garden. That's the next, I mean, I hope by my interpretation <laughs> is not, I mean, I try to be orthodox <laughs> according to our church's interpretation. <laughs> so, but not to deviate. I think that's really good, good uh, uh, interpretation of the parallel of must have seen. <laughs> so, so it's good, we should, we should let God mess up our neatly planned garden. It's better for us. Better. It will be infinitely better than your carefully planned life. If you see where God is working and join Him, it, will, it looks like it will mess up your life, but it will be much better than your carefully planned life. Yeah. So the camping example of the Moses life? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Moses one has a life planned in the palace, be a prince of Egypt. But God messed up his life, mm. being a fugitive, you know, four years in the wilderness. Even though he didn't want to, and God told him to go back. <laughs> and uh, the story goes on. Right? God used his life greatly as a deliverer of Israelites. 